very warm and pleasant good morning to all my dear students of class 2A and B. So today I am here to start a new chapter in your maths. Today I will teach you all maths and this video will be for both the sections 2A and 2B. Okay, let's get started with the chapter. So the new chapter it is even and odd numbers. It is there in your book page number 42. Okay, even and odd numbers. Page number 42. So today we will learn about even and odd numbers. This you might have heard in your previous classes also like in class 1, in class UKG and all. Okay, so in this we will learn about it in more details. Okay, so even numbers. The numbers that make exact number of pairs are called even numbers. So the definition of even number is the number that makes exact number of pairs. They are known as even numbers okay always an even number they are in pair like 2 4 6 8 10 12 they have they are always in pair they are known as an even number so we will learn about it more see if the last digit if the last digit of any number ends in 0 2 4 6 or 8 they are always an even number so always keep that in mind this is very important if the last digit in a single digit or in single digit if it is 0 2 4 6 8 it is an even number but in more than two digit three digit in two digit and three digit if the number it is ending with okay if the number it is ending with 0 2 4 6 or 8 they are always an even number for example 14 14 is ending with 4. So, it is an even number. Similarly, 12 ending with 2. It is also an even number. Similarly, 16 ending with 6. It is also an even number. And 18 ending with 8. It is also an even number. And it goes on and on. 20 is also an even number. 21 is not an even number because it is not ending with either of this number 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Okay? All the numbers which are ending with 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, they are always an even number. Okay. So now the next topic is odd. Okay, we will learn about odd. We will see what is an odd number. The number that do not make exact pair are called odd numbers. So even numbers are those which makes exact pair and odd numbers are those that do not make an exact pair. For example, 3. It does not make any pair, right? If if you have 3 chocolates, if you give away 2 chocolates to, to your friend, then you are left only with 1 chocolate. Does it have pair? No, it is not having any pair. So number which does not have pair, they are known as an odd number. Okay? If the last digit of any number ends in 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9, they are always an odd number. So keep this in mind. Like in even number also there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These 5 numbers you will keep in mind. Okay. And in odd number also this 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. You will keep that in mind that all the numbers whether it is 1, 3, 5 or 7 or 9. Or the numbers which are ending with 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. They are an odd number. For example... If I say 23, so 23 is an odd number. Why? Because it is ending with 3 and 3 is an odd number. So similarly 35, 35 also is an odd number. Like because why? It is ending with 5. So 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. They are an odd number and any number ending with 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. They are an odd number like 9 after 9 what comes? After 9, 11 is an odd number. Then 13, then 15, then 17, then 19, then 21. It goes on and on and on like that. Okay. So all the numbers ending with 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9, they are an odd number. So did you all get the 
डेफिनेशन ऑफ इवन एंड ऑड नंबर सो इवन नंबर आर दो नंबर विच मेक्स एग्जैक्ट नंबर ऑफ पेयर ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू है फोर चॉकलेट्स विथ यू इफ यू गिव अवर टू चॉकलेट्स टू योर फ्रेंड हाउ मेनी चॉकलेट्स यू आर लेफ्ट विथ यू आर लेफ्ट विथ टू चॉकलेट इट इज इन पेयर right so that is an even number the numbers which makes exact number of pairs they are known as an even number and similarly odd number odd number are those numbers which do not make any pair which do not make any pair for example if you have five balloons with you then if you give two to each balloons to you, one of your two of your friends then you will be left only with one balloon Two, two balloon you give it to your one friend. Two balloon you give it to your other friend. Then how many balloons you are left with? You are left with only one balloon. So five is also an odd number. So odd numbers are those which do not make an exact number of pairs. Okay. Move on to the exercises. Okay. You can uh, turn your page forty three. You can look at the page number forty three, and you can see this exercise here. Okay. Now count and write odd and even number against each row in a picture chart given below. So you have to count and write whether they are an odd number or an even number. It is very simple, right? So you can see in the first picture, one, two, and three. There are three chocolates. Does it make any pair? It is making pair. If I pair it in two, two. One is two and other one is left, so it is an odd number, right? This one has been done for you also in your book. So question number two B. There are how many birds? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six numbers of bird. So if I pair it in two, 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 there are two each bird. If I pair it in three also, it will be in pair. Okay, so this is an even number. And similarly, C one, two, three, four, five. So if I pair it in two, two, then one, two, and one is left over. So there is one pineapple which is left over. So it is an odd number. So next one, how many rats are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven rats. Okay, if I tell you to pair these rats, then one pair. Two pair, three pair, and again one is left over. So that is an odd number. Okay. Then see the next one. There is this basketball. So how many basketball are there? One, two, three, and four. And if you pair it, it will become two pairs. So it is an even number. Okay. Now did you all get it? This you will do it in your book itself. You will not do it in your notebook. This you will do it in your book itself as a homework. Okay. This you will do it in your book till J. The rest we will do. I will explain you again how to do. But this question number one: count and write odd and even number against each row in picture chart given below. This will be your homework. You will just count the numbers of things there, and you will find out whether it is in pair. While finding out, you can make two two pair of two. Okay, in each group. So that you will find out if you are left over with one or two. If you are left over with one, then it is an odd number, and if you are not left over, then it is an even number. So to see the last one, there are how many carrots are there? One carrot, two carrot, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I make two two pairs of each carrot, then you will not be left over with any carrots. There will be five pairs. So it is an even number. Similarly, you will all do all these exercises in your book itself. Okay, you will do it in the book itself. That's all for today, my dear students. So we will continue with the chapter in our next video. Okay, in our next class next week maybe. So I will do the rest of the exercises. I will explain you how to do it. So for today, you will do learn all the definitions, all these two definitions, and you will write it down in your notebook also. I will send you the notes in your WhatsApp group. So that's all for today. Be a good student. Follow your online classes regularly, and be a good student. Wash your hands regularly. Be safe. Stay home and keep studying. And don't forget to learn tables. Don't forget to learn tables. Every day make a habit of learning one table each because next 
In next chapter, it is addition. Then it will go on and on. Multiplication, division, and all. You will all need multiplication table for each chapter. All the chapters coming forward. So make it a habit that you will start learning tables from today. Start from two. Today you will learn table of two. Then when you are when you are by when you are all done with table of two, then you move to table of three, then four, then five, then six, then till nine. At least learn tables till nine. Okay, I know you all are good. You will all do your homework properly. See you all in the next class. Have a good day.